So the first live stream stopped because of my battery and now I'm waiting for you to come back again. Let's see if you are coming. I'm waiting for you. Hi, 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 hi. Now I can read you. Hello. Yeah, we are back. It was because my mobile phone was clearly leer, uh, empty, but I found something to fill it up again. Hi. So, some of you were in my first live stream, but I already see some new persons, or... Hello, hello! San Antonio, Texas. Hi, Charles. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Salvatore, Salvatore again. Hi, many from California. Dirty Faces. Mary Michael Ortrom. Hi. And Setish. Hi. So, the campfire is burning better than before. Look. That means I have a better light here for you. Hi. Hi. Greetings to Canada. Stefano, I absolutely love what you do. Thank you. I'm glad that you like it. Hello, Cayman. Hello, Harley. Florida. Jason. Hi. Hi, Tony. From the desert in Arizona. Hi. Thank you. Herpetile stranger. Hi from Sweden. Oh, I would love to be also in Sweden. Hi. Own. Hi. Nice that you join us. Leonardo is also there. Owen and Leonardo are subscribers, I think, from the beginning on, but almost a very long time. Michael, I have the wood stove going too. The wood stove at my home will also burning because the nights are pretty cold actually, but at the campfire it's so warm that my t-shirt is enough. Pavel, great to see you again, Vanessa. Out in the sticks, hi, yeah. Hi from Kansas, Mike and Che from North Carolina. Isu from Frost and Fish Stick from South California. Marianne from Zech, also a great country, beautiful nature. Rixal from West Virginia and Jane from New York. We would have big problems with deer ticks in our woods, any problem there. Uh, yes, we also have a lot of ticks, especially in the, um, in the leaf woods, like here because then they are easy and um, they, they are also there in the spring in the needle tree woods. I think they are a little bit later. Tony, cooking anything on the fire? Yeah, I'm almost done because I wasn't so hungry this evening. I eat a lot during the day and so the campfire is only for heating myself and to have a romantic atmosphere. <laughs> Hi, Alexei. Hi, Robert. Finally see you on a live stream. Yeah, I'm glad that you made it. Ford Tractor Fanatic. Hello from Kansas. And Oliver from England. Searching for any horror story near your territory. Okay. Okay. I'm looking forward what you will find, because horror, horror stories are everywhere around. There are a lot of crazy people running out there. I'm glad I have Aika with me, because she will always protect me till her death. She's such a, such a great dog. Stimmt's Aika? Huh?
hardly mountaineers all the way. And hi, greetings to Kentucky. So it's almost silent here. Only the planes up there somewhere. You can't see that the camera, but they are always over me. So I'm just enjoying myself in the evening <laughs> at the campfire. I love this um, hours after a bushcraft trip because I don't want to go to go to bed so early. That means I spend a lot of time at the campfire and at the campfire it's a great um, possibility to, to just relax, calm down. And you also can think about a lot because when you are sitting there, just nothing to do. It's a perfect chance to just um, order all your thoughts. Yeah, Harley, campfire is very, very relaxing. I love to have fire around me. Also at home when I am doing barbecue with the fire, I enjoy it a lot. Aika, huh? will you join us? Hi, say hi. Yeah, <laughs> kisses. <laughs> oh, Aika. Okay, sit. Yeah, brave dog. Mm -hmm. Hi, Klaus is also back. I can't. <laughs> My God. She always want to cuddle. Yeah. Guten Abend, Chris. Relax. Bad souls are afraid of the fire. Really? I'm not sure. Remember all those witches which are running around the campfire. The Virginia bushcraft. Uh, hey, glad I caught your life. How long have you been bushcrafting? I think I've been bush. I've doing bushcrafting all my life, but in my childhood, bushcrafting doesn't had any names. It was just playing in the woods. You know, we all made fire out there or shelter and spend a lot of time there. But it has not the, the name bushcraft. Um, in the beginning. Bushcraft is coming with the survival boom, you know, beer grills and all of those survival shows. Then the name Bushcraft is coming around. Um, but yeah, like I, I have done maybe Bushcrafting, yeah, like I told you since my childhood, but really intensive uh, maybe it starts when I was 21, 22 or something. Super dog. Yeah, she's really great. I love her. Weed is okay now. Did you bring some? So what do you think? Why I'm so relaxing? <laughs> no, joke. I doesn't smoke. I hate smoking. I also don't like to smoke weed. I don't know. I have no problem when people's, people are doing it, um, but I don't need it for myself. And I also want to have all my thoughts at the right point when I am alone outdoors, you know. When I am in another world, in my brain, I can protect myself. How are you sleeping tonight? Do you have a tent? I will show it to you. One moment. I had to put my headlamp otherwise you will not see it so let's go to my camp here can you see this leaves this hill out of leaves this is my sleeping place tonight look here is my nice lateran and down there this is the cowboy bedroll from bushcraft spain it is sleeping bag and sleeping pad in once. It is waxed cotton. And this is where I spent the night. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm looking forward for the night. I hope I sleep well, but I think so. Because it's very silent there and then I, have, I will have a relaxed night. Hello, you church's woman. Love you from Norfolk, UK, Mark. Thank you, Mark. 
Dogs are truly a great companion. Yes, of course, you have to, you have someone to talk <laughs> and nobody is giving you the wrong answer. <laughs> and um, I also feel a lot safer with her, you know. Um, she's a big dog. When she's holding, people know that this is a massive, a huge dog, which you can't choke with. When she gets angry, you will run away. Looks a nice night. Hope you have a relaxing time. Yeah, it starts to rain a little bit. Some drops therefore, so I cover my um, camera, which is also standing outside. But it seems that it stopped now. When more videos at hut or outdoors. So I was creating a bushcraft video today. It will be online, I think, at Sunday, and. Then um, I also spent in the next days time at my forest cabin at the fox hut and I also will create videos there. Then you can see everything. I hope you will like the videos. Hello Daniel. Many. Hello Aika. I like you to be hypnotized by the campfire. No, the campfire hypnotized me uh, also because when I stare inside of the flames the whole time, I'm also getting relaxed. Hi Richard. I don't understand why wild camping is called wild, it's just camping. No, there is a difference, you know? There are officially camping areas where you have a lot of other people and also uh, toilets and running water and stuff. And when you are doing wild camping, you often do do this illegally, illegal, and also you have no luxury, no water, no toilet, nothing, no store where you can buy something if you forget something. It's just a difference. Hi from Poland, Bushcraft Helmut. Greetings back to Poland. Hi Pathfinder. Michael, does Aika also know English orders? No, Klaus. She only knows the German orders, but she I learned her also to understand sign language, but not the typical sign language. I told her, her that she has to watch me and I give her any sign with my hands or with my body without words and then she had to do it and she knows how to do it because when I'm out in the forest and um, I saw something or, or, or hear something or I want her to be careful <clears throat> or silent or just sit by me if somebody is walking around I don't want that this person notice me, hear me and because of this I um, learned her how to watch for signals without words. Um, Virginia Bushcrafter is timing where, what time we have here. It's 10 o'clock in the evening. <clears throat> Robert, we have massive amount of cicadas emerging this spring. Only once every 17 years, absolutely millions per acre. Do you know these insects? Yeah, the German word for it is Zikade. I only know them, the real Zikadas from Croatia. So we, we only have those grasshoppers, you know. Um, but now I, doesn't, I don't see a lot of them. Jonathan, hi from Tennessee, US. Glad you go out to do some camping. I'm ready also, but waiting for warmer. Yes, the weather here is very nice now because a lot of sun and the leaves are coming. So I'm always getting depressed over the winter months when everything is just brown and gray. So I like real winter with a lot of snow and everything icy and it has zero degrees. But here in Germany, with the climate change we doesn't have 
great winters. So this year we had one week with really a lot of snow, but uh, all the other winter was just wet and rainy and <sighs> I love winter with white snow covered landscapes, but not brown and gray like it is always. And then I'm always so happy when spring is back and I finally have some green trees or bushes for my eye. Owen is asking, have a bottle of beer and be in another world. So, um, you know, we Bavarians have those beer gardens. And in the beer garden, it's normally that you get in there in the morning and the older men typically drink their first beers in the morning or before, um, before afternoon. So, and it was so beautiful hot outside today that I also drink a beer. But you know, we have those mixed beer with um, citrus lemonade. It's called Radler in Bavaria and or in German also. And I had one this, this um, <clears throat> afternoon because I was thirsty and I love to drink it. And uh, Hi, I hope you are still there because my iPhone just turned off because it was too hot. I was too close at the campfire and now it's getting too hot and it isn't working anymore. Um, okay, but I, I think I'm still online or can you write me something if the live stream is still working or if I am away? Please. Okay, thank you, Michael. Okay, I'm glad you are still there. I thought I'm away another time, but okay, I'm happy that you are still there with me and it's still working. So, go back to your questions or comments. Um, hi, Dennis, you are also there. Nice to read you. So, Virginia Bushcraft, uh, there is a big difference between camping and wild camping. Wild camping is more or less surviving in the wild, using what modern nature provides. Camping is more relaxing. That's right. And I also hate to be at camping areas because there are always a lot of people, you know. I go out in the nature to be for my own and don't have such many people around me. I just want to be alone and quiet. Something is making noise is there beside me in the leaves. Maybe an insect or a mouse, I don't know. It's a beautiful sleeping area, Steve. Awesome channel, thank you. Have a bottle of beer and be in another world. <laughs> yes, Erwin. Alright, Smoy, have a wonderful night and be safe there. I will have a wonderful night and with Ika I am safe. Thank you. May I suggest using green or better yet the right light at night? It doesn't mess up night vision. Yes, I have um, a flashlight with red light. This is the only headlamp that I like because it has this small fixing system, not such big strings like other ones that I really don't like. Mm. I love the woods and all the sounds. Yes, I agree, Michael. Now in the night it's complete silent. Uh, the owls are all only there in the first time when it's getting dark and later it's complete silent there. But over the day it was a bird concert. Hello, Rob. Chris, you are without jacket. Yes, it's pretty warm at the campfire. Oliver, Eika is great. I look forward to buying my first German Shepherd soon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you will have a lot of joy with the German Shepherd. Of course, there are also bad breeders. Um, it's important that the first weeks of the puppy are good weeks because you know, um, there are some very bad breeders which keep the puppies and mothers in such breeding farms 
where they have to fight for food and being in the dirt the whole time. And this really creates a bad dog. So the first weeks being in a good area are important. <clears throat> Project this. When you go on a trip, do you have a place where you're trying to get to or a certain goal? Um, it's different. So I am from Germany and in Germany we have rules for everything. That means that I have to be allowed to spend the night at um, this place. You know, it's not like it is in Sweden where you can sleep wherever you want, where is no fence around or no signs or not close to um, a building. You had to own a forest to sleep there or it has to be an emergency situation or you have to have the permission of the forest owner. You have to bring a paper with you where it stands, um, <clears throat> who the forest owner is and that he is allowing you to spend the night there and doing a fire and all of this stuff. So um, I am often in areas that, that I know because I have to ask for it. But sometimes when I am, um, for example, in the mountains, there is a different situation because it's not really allowed. But so the people will say nothing when you sleep there because um, mountain hikers often sleep at the top of the mountain at one day waking up early hiking up then spend the night up in the mountain and walk back another day so this is a different situation hi herbert you really know your way around the woods enjoy all your videos thank you Nic nicholas hi chris my english is bad wie warm ist das jetzt im Chiemgau? Keine Ahnung. Ich kann dir sagen, wie warm es auf meiner Uhr ist. Ähm Moment. Okay, my watch tells me that it is 30, 33 degrees here at the campfire. 33 Grad hier am Feuer. Keine Ahnung, wie kalt oder warm es draußen rum ist. Hi, Tsekera. Harley, the flames of the campfire helps to sort things out in your mind. Meditation time for me. Absolutely agree. A strong bond is good. Yeah, of course, Owen. Thank you, Green Medicine. I will be safe. I hope so. Hi, John. Thank you for the nice words. Where is your dog? Here. You cannot see her, but she is sleeping um, around here. <laughs> I hope you could, was able to see her. She, she, sleep, she sleeps directly at my side, like she should do. <clears throat> Your information about ICAS training is very interesting. Thank you, Klaus. Greetings from South Norway. Taking my daughter, she's turning seven, out for a camp in the forest this spring. Any tips? I experienced myself, I just, just not with kids. Much love, all the best. Thank you. Um, one moment, I have to put wood in the fire again because you cannot see me good. Um, so, you are in a good position in Norway because you have a lovely nature around you and also really nature, you know, here in Germany we only have woods for harvesting um, wood, but not really because they are nature. There is no much, not much nature left. So, okay, now you cannot see nothing. Um, I have to put on my light. Um, I wouldn't go out for an overnighter if you doesn't spend several hours with your kids in the nature in the past. I don't know what you are doing in the past, but um, I, oh, I often see that parents want to have everything at once. And my tip is always start step for step. So at first 
um, spend the whole day in the woods and then making a fire in the woods. And then making a fire, letting the fire going out and just sitting there in the dark for several hours because um, what people scares the most when they spend their first time outdoors are the noises of the night because they doesn't know them. Um, so don't use too less equipment. Bring everything with you which makes you comfortable. So you know when it's the kids first experience and they are freezing for example in the night or they doesn't have clothes to change because they are getting wet or something else. When they make a bad experience at the one time, the, at the first time being outside, they maybe doesn't have, they doesn't want to do it another time, you know? So just creating everything as soft as possible and then you can doing the next steps. I'm glad you're doing well after what happened. Thank you, Paul. Winter without snow is just mad. Yeah, I agree, Jonathan. Hi, Paul from Michigan. Mich <laughs> Michigan. Was deiner Bier? It's a good German beer. Mm, I'm only drinking Austria beer, which is called Gösser. I really love it. And a local beer, which is called. Um, uh, I forgot the name. Oh God. I drink. It doesn't drink to, enough. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I don't drink so much beer. Steiner, Steiner beer. Yes. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Yes, I'm back again. Where is it dark right now? In the woods of Bavaria. Hi, Champland homesteaders. Hello from northern Sweden. It is good to see you out in the forest on Tilfi. Yeah, thank you for the nice words. And you know what? I'm out in my t-shirt today. And I'm pretty sure you in northern Sweden still have snow. And it's possibly also being very cold, or I am right. Greetings from Ireland. Hi, David. Uh, Cayman, are you able to see the eclipse? I'm not pretty sure if I know what the eclipse is. Maybe you can uh, tell me. Hi from Brazil. Hi Mauro. I love any accent. I'm pretty sure I have an accent. <laughs> David is watching from Australia. BG Loving. Greetings from Sweden. Dakota Firehole is always interesting when stealth camping. Yes. Um, I was very hard struggling today with the Dakota fire hole because I doesn't expect the ground to be so stony like it is here. I always um, had the luck that I tried to Dakota fire hole in just normal earth or sand, but here the overground is um, a good earth because there are a lot of trees, um, a lot of leaves fallen down. But under this earth, there is, um, what's the name, um, clay, clay, and clay with, mixed with stones. And it is so hard, I tried it several times, but it will not work. And I was so close before giving up, but I finally made it. Hi, David, greetings to Australia. GS, greetings to Carolina. Beer and lemonade in the UK is called Shady. Shandy. Shandy. Okay, thank you for the information, Owen. I don't know the word before. I hope I can, <laughs> I can uh, stay it in my brain. Hi, Rudd from Ontario, Canada. Hi, Dwight from South Louisiana, USA. Good evening from South Wales. Hi, Richard. Harley Guy, listening to creation is peace to the hearth and soul. Heart and soul, yes. Hi Larry from Canada. Michael, I camp in a groove of trees in the pasture where I keep my horse. Just me, the coyotes and the horses. Perfect company. Oh yes, I would love to do it also like you with a horse at my side in the woods. But... Uh, Actually, like the situation is, I will not get a horse 
the next months. Uh, I will make uh, another video about it, about the situation. So uh, hopefully I will get a horse in the future again. It's one of my biggest dreams, but yeah, we will see what the future brings. If it should happen, hopefully it will happen. Uh, are you still seeing bats in Germany? In New York, our bats have mostly disappeared in those last few years. Yeah, um, you know I have the sheep meadow at my property, at my homestead, you know. And um, over these meadows are in the summer months a lot of bats flying. You always see them. Um, and we have also special uh, laws for them to protecting them. Uh, you know, when a tree has some holes inside and somebody will cut this tree away to build something, um, the person had let the tree there when bats or other important animals are living inside. Or in all buildings, they are also often. Thank you, great English for a German, thanks. Uh, uh, yeah. Heard alarm again. Um, my English was so bad when I started doing YouTube because uh, so I learned English in the school, but I don't really talk. You know, I just write it down and learn it. I know the words, but I don't know how to talk because it doesn't come in this flow to speak. And it was a long process to speak like this. Um, being at an English live stream, live stream was impossible for me in the beginning because I can't speak like this. At my first uh, English bushcraft trip, um, I had to use Google Translate for everything what I want to say because I forgot a lot. Welcome to the freedom in Sweden. Yes, the, the law in Sweden, which means that you can sleep wherever you want for one day, is called in German Jedermanns Recht. That means the law for everyone. Hi, greetings to Brazil, Bruno. Carl is asking, will you be doing a video with Jörg and or Survival Lily this summer? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I will uh, create a video with Jörg. I'm not sure uh, when I can create another video with Lily because she's living far away from me. Hi from Frost. Chi Dion. Hi. Jonas, hi, guten Abend. Klaus, concerning your yesterday's Instagram fingers, did you fry your finger and, and nails? No, but I was making schnitzel. And schnitzel are only going good if you are doing it with your hands. Nihil from Zech, hi. Jean, don't forget, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. Hi, Peter. The Virginia bushcrafter, did you harvest a lot of wood? I go crazy harvesting and processing wood when I am in the bush overnight. I want to have fire all night long. Yeah, I collect a lot of wood, um, but later I found out here in the campfire that a lot of this wood is still wet, but it looked dry before. Um, I have a little bit, not that much, but there is so much dead wood around that I just have to walk a few steps and then I have enough. Good evening from Italy. Hi, Daniel. Paul, wow, look at the, the people from different countries. Amazing. Can you feel the love? Oh, yes, I feel the love. And it's always so great to chat with people all around the world because the differences are so big. Sky blue, we have dangerous wild animals in Canada. You are lucky to have the most dangerous animal in the woods protecting you with his life. Yes. Um, we don't have dangerous animals here, but we have a lot of crazy people there, which I don't want to have in my closer area when I am alone. So because of this, I have Aika with me. 
Um, the dangerous animal that we have here is the tick. <laughs> so I found it out on my own. And of course wild boars. Um, wild boars will not make fun with you if they if you come too close to them or they are babies but of course we don't have uh, other very dangerous animals here thank you pavel for smashing the button mm. Sogl Knook, thank you very much for the great advice regarding first time wild camping with kids. Much appreciated. Much love. Take, take care. Great that I can help you. Um, just ask whatever you want to to know. So I'm also not. I I also doesn't. I I'm also not knowing everything. But when I can help, I'm glad to help. <clears throat> Kemo, could you tell me any good wild camping places where you are? Of course not. I will never tell anyone where I am camping or where I spent the night. Because I want to be at my own. I go outside to stay there in peace. Because I have to protect myself. And I don't want to have any people in my places uh, that I don't know and I don't know if they are good or not and because Other people doesn't have the permission to do what I'm doing. So they have to ask the owner Evening Ben Ashley just joined. Where are you? I am in the middle of the woods You cannot see anything because it's dark outside But here behind me you can see my camp where I spent the night and everything else is just dark um, Ben, it has been raining non-stop in the UK. What about Germany? Actually, it's not raining. Uh, the next few days should be very sunny and very warm, but it will rain very soon again. I'm be, I'm sure. Hi, unleaved even from North Carolina. And from Mallorca, Yusef. Hi, Peter. Hello. <clears throat> Your accent is beautiful. Thank you, Oli. Freddy, great to see you are doing well, wild woman. I love all of your adventures from New York, USA. Thank you. Greetings from Wales. Thank you. Greetings back. Michael, this summer my project is to set up a new remote camp. Can't wait. I wish you luck with this project. I hope that everything goes well. Horse are a lot of work and money. Yes, you are true. But if I would have a horse this time again, I would. I want to have the horse at my home and then it, it's less money than you had it in a stable. In a professional stable, I I can also feed it at my own with the grass which is there, and um, of course my sheep also need hay, and then I had to buy it. What will cost me will um, be the wet, of course, if something happens, and I don't know the right English word in German. We call it Hufschmied. This is the person who um, is fixing the hoofs of the horses and making the horse shoes. <clears throat> Investors Island. I am a prepper from Poland. I did the gun license this year. Do you think I could get into front in the first place? I have no idea. I don't know. I'm not in the army. Benny. Now many. I hope you do you get another horse. I hope so too but we will see what the future brings. <clears throat> Seen a big coyote in my urban city. Okay. Yeah, I know some animals are also joining the city life. Um, here in Germany, a lot of rabbits are in the cities and also foxes. So they doesn't have any... Um, 
they are not afraid of humans and also not of the human sound. They just live there as it would be normal because we use all the space in the woods and then the animals are thinking, oh, great, and I use the cities also. Oh, is this dry? No, it's wet. Um, be who you are, Vanessa. It's beautiful. Thank you, Harley. Hi, Dubjacks. Hi, Elton. Hi, Wiley. Wiley. Hello, Marley from Southern Illinois. Thank you. If somebody like films about wild camping, I should suggest the Blair Witch Project. Oh, don't come with horror films. I want to sleep well this night. <laughs> Thank you, Rod. Greetings to London. Hi from Prince Edward Insel, Canada. Hi, Elton. Harley, just put the wood, wood beside the fire to dry. Yeah, I know I have it here around the fire. Owen, I can understand you. The bushcraft does the talking. Yes, exactly. Hi, Peter. Did you shake your head, head to Rammstein? I like Rammstein, but I doesn't shake my head. I don't want to get um, headed. <clears throat> you can split the wood with a hatchet or split it with your knife to get the middle dry part. Yeah, I know, but I, I need my hands for the mobile phone. <laughs> Robert, the eclipse is when the moon lines up with the sun. Ah, of course, yeah, I, I, I know it, but I, I just can't get it out of my brain. I'm not sure if I would be able to see it. It should be the next day, or I forgot it. Timoli, I can't read your words, sorry. Um, M Fish, hi from Scottsdale. Looking forward to your next clickbait video. <laughs> okay, you have to wait till it's warmer. I see you are good. Can we see your outfit, please? Of course, when um, I am possible to have enough light, I just have a t shirt on and long trousers and normal shoes. So, nothing special. Pet. How are you feeling after the tick problem? Yes, it's sometimes it's better, sometimes not. So um, I will never get back all my face nerves, you know. You still can see it when I'm talking that this side isn't going up. And also this eye is bigger than this one because there are the complete side here is damaged. So I've got a little bit of the movement back because their nerves are regrowing. But uh, after all this time, what is past, uh, I can be sure that uh, it will never be complete away. And you know, um, those tick bacterias will stay forever in my body because you can't fight against them. They are still there. Sometimes they are sleeping. And then when your immune system is not so strong, they will come back again. Ticks are worldwide. Yeah, that's right, Owen. I don't know why they are existing. John, hello, Vanessa. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. I will have so. I am here with you. I am here with the campfire. I am here with my dog. What could be better? Um, Peter, are you in the bushes now, Vanessa? Yes, exactly. I'm in the middle of the forest. I can't show it to you because I only have the small flashlight here with me. But I am surrounded by wood. Wie geht's, mein Schatzi? Gut geht es mir, danke. Where is you? Very peacefully where you are. Thank you. It's, it is peaceful here. Evening from Bonnie, Scotland. Hi, Moray. She's live. Texas sending you greetings. Thank you, Bobcat. <clears throat> Hi.
Hi from New Orleans. Oh, New Orleans. Hi Rick. Show us the moon. I cannot see any moon around. And also, if I would switch the camera, you will see nothing than darkness. <laughs> Hi from Russian. Hi, Timuli. How was your trip to Nevada? The trip itself was um, special. There was a lot to see, but the flight back was horribly because I, I um, lost the next flight. Watching from Pennsylvania. Hi, John. We got wolves. Yeah, we also got wolves here in Germany, but not around here. So when there is a wolf around, it's only um, a single wolf, which is looking for some, uh, for a partner. Hobgoblins and Wang doodles. Any trouble in Bavaria? I'm not sure what they are. I don't know this word. Sorry. We are animals too. Yes, John, and we are the baddest animals here in the world. I got a dog. What kind of dog, Peter? Thank you, Steve. I'm glad that you like my videos. Henry, never give your location. Very smart, be safe. Yes, it's the only way to save the nature around and save what I'm doing because um, imagine that I tell people where I'm camping and then a lot of them are coming and it isn't quiet anymore. Maybe they doesn't respect the nature. Maybe they make a big fire or leave trash. So it will always come back to me. And because of this, I never would do it. <clears throat> Hi from Slovakia. It's nice you are alive. Thank you, Marianne. Hi from Greenville, United States. Hi David. Du hast. Yeah, it's Rammstein. <clears throat> Have a great day in the work, Molly. At Monday. Okay, I had to check out for the eclipse at Monday. Hi Shane from Austria, Australia. Hi Mike from Chicago. I wish I was camping. Do it very soon and enjoy it. Have a great time. Hi, repair our Orguin from Finland. Looks like it's nice warm there. Yeah, because I'm directly in front of the campfire and we also have a very sunny and warm day. Hi, Welsh Chris. Peter, your eye works again. Yes, that's, that is right. Um, when I've got a tick infection, this eye isn't so it wasn't able to close so it's working it's close and they also had the, the you know that the eyes are closing when someone something is coming but um you can see that the size of the eyes that this here is bigger than this one and this is also because of the nerve damage <clears throat> marian are you using wood gasifier stove I'm not sure what a gasifier is, but I am using um, a wood stove at home, several wood stoves, and I also have one for the tent. Hi, Alastair Blackmore. I hope you sleep well. Ollie, what is your favorite knife? I have a Spanish Muela and a custom limited edition buck knife. I can't bring myself to use, it's too nice. Oh, I understand it. I also have um, very nice knives, um, but you know, they are tools. You have to use them. I don't want to have things that I only spend in a glass cabin and watch them. I want to use things. And because of this, it's also not um, a shame if something is damaged, you know, it's like a car. When I buy a car, I want to use it. And for example, if I buy a SUV, I don't want to drive only at the streets. I want to drive through the woods and when I've got some damage from um, branches which are cutting at the outside of the car, it's okay because it's only a sign that I use it, this equipment. So, um, but back to your question. Uh, my favorite knife is also a custom knife or all my custom knives. 
Moela is also great. Um, I also had a Moela back in the past. I don't know the word Moela Rino, I think. Moela Rino, it was black and with a red cover out of the metal. It was looking great. So if I have my flashlight like this, I just thought that it looks like I doesn't sleep for days, but it's only the shadow. Bobcat, hope your country stays safe and especially you and your family and dogs. Yeah, of course the situation actually is not so easy, but our politics are just so dumb. And I really hate the uh, politicians which having the power actually because they are doing so much damage to our country. And the, the worst thing is that the Germans doesn't want to have them as our politics. So they doesn't get enough, how to say, you know, the, the paper that you give away where you put on which politician you want to have at the top. So, and they, which are on the top now, which are ruling Germany, they put, it, they put them together and uh, so none of them had enough power to be the top ruler. So they are going together. We call it Ampel. And now they rule together because none of them was able to rule alone. And that means that we have politicians which are... Uh, Verse. <clears throat> Jonathan, you are you doing you done better than you think. I've seen the original video and those things are barely noticeable. Yes, you are right. So it's much better now. But um, it's not like it was in the past so. Uh. <laughs> I just bringing out my um, <clears throat> my fire blower. So the fire wasn't burning well, so I had to do this. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you, Anne. I hope you too. I hear Sasquatch in the background. I hear nothing and I can also. Look, she's sleeping peacefully. And that means that there's nothing around. No mosquitoes. No, actually not. But uh, in the... In the... Uh, afternoon there was some small flies they are well, not mosquitoes but they are biting and at first I thought oh what is scratching there is only a piece of leaf or something and then I thought that these are flies which are um, uh, which are looking for my blood don't you have beers in Bavaria actually there is no beer around if a beer would coming they will uh, hunt them very short because um, um, beers in Germany are not welcomed and any beer which, which will come will be a problem beer very soon and then it they have they found a reason to kill it so you know in Slovenia they have a beer project and from there a lot of beers are walking to new places because there are too much of them in this area and then sometimes they are coming to Germany. But <coughs> um, there is a city called Rosenheim in uh, Bavaria and also Traunstein. It's close where I am living and there in the closer area was a beer for several weeks and it's the first it was the first time where i really had to think about 
uh, how to protect myself from a beer because I never had the situation in the past. And it was really, so people that are living with beers always tell me, oh, don't be afraid of them because they will run away and you can't protect yourself. Um, but you know, when, when there is any danger, which you don't know because then you also don't know how to handle it and maybe you are more afraid of it than you are growing up with this danger you know now it will not burning well so i had to bring another wood more um, where is my good wood? Here. It's almost burnt. Okay. So, I'm back again. <clears throat> ah, why I'm so big? Okay. Um, are you prepping? Yes. Ah, finally. Look. This is what I want to have. But you know why this fire is so big now? Because I found dry needle trees. And they are burning so well. So yes, I am prepping. Because I think if something bad happens here in Germany, people will go crazy. Because nobody is prepared for that. Imagine we lost energy for two or three days. It would be like war here, because all the people are going crazy without food, without navigation, without uh, communication. And the supermarkets are empty because nobody is bringing new stuff. So I hope we are all never going into the situation. But if something happens or not, it is always better that you are prepared for everything. Hi, from Northern Carolina. Hi, Beck. Many, I am a lone wolf. My spirit animal is the moose. Nice. Would you come to England and camp with me? No, because I don't know you. Any snacks tonight? I have some power energy bars in my backpack, but I'm not hungry yet. And also have nuts. <clears throat> the Virgin, Virginia Bushcrafter. I use soya permatin insect repellent. It's good up to four washings. Okay, great. Jari and the Chocolate Factory. Yes, Charlie. It's a great movie. Hi, Koala Man from Australia. Owen. Will you doing more pot holes? I'm, I don't know what this word means. Sorry, Owen. Cheer for all. Canada loves you. Adventures, adventurous nature. Stay safe and keep us updated as the summer comes. In a few weeks, the summer will arrive. <laughs> Thank you for the nice words. Chris, I am tired. It was a long day. Good night and enjoy the wilderness. I hope you sleep well, Chris. Good night. Do you have any Swedish Mora knives? Yeah, of, of course. Mora is the knife for every beginner. And I have, um, I think, two of them. So um, they had sometimes a time where you can buy them in the construction market and then I buy I bought one and I also had one from the very beginning on. How is your grandma and the children? The grandma is fine. She really loves where she is now and I'm very glad that the situation is like this is like it is but um you know the grandpa grandma is now in a caring home. And that means that I had to pay a lot of money because of this. Um, I had to pay for her to be there because what she get, I don't know the right English word. You know, when you work, you give something away and when you are old and doesn't work, you give, 
get a little bit of the money back. Uh, but I know, I think it's no rent. In German it's called Rente, but rent in English is if you doesn't buy a house, but you pay rent. I don't know the word. So um, I had to pay a lot of money for that. And the kids are all well and, and healthy. Thank you. How is your health these days? From Mark in Norfolk. Actually, it's good. I have only a little bit of trouble with my heart because it's running so fast, but everything else is actually fine. <clears throat> Mike, I have one of those fire blowers. They work great and people are amazed when they see it. Exactly, and you also can make them so small that they fit in every pocket. I am a air rigorous nurse and you have very healthy lungs by the fire blowing you just did. Okay, I'm glad, thank you. So I, I never smoked um, and I'm always a lot in the nature, doesn't spend a lot of time in the cities, so um, I hope there is no reason that my lungs are going bad. Thank you, Anto. Don't worry, Vanessa, you look good. <laughs> Thanks. Politicans and ticks share a lot the same qualities. Do you ever find and explore Abaddon buildings, mines or caves? Yes, um, caves are there in the mountains, very close. Abaddon and buildings are also there, but um, in this part of Germany where I am living, you doesn't find so many of them because um, the land is very expensive there and people will not uh, have a land where something is just being rotten, you know. Mitches or thunderflies, both are those small flies bite. Okay, maybe they was it, I don't know. <clears throat> Many, two brothers were attacked by a mountain lion in my neighbor Horing County. Unfortunately, one bro was killed. Oh, I'm very sorry for you. Yeah, I, I know that they are not so cute how they look. But I can't imagine what kind of feeling this must be when you are sitting in the nature like I am. And you had to be always afraid if there is any danger animals around or just walking in the nature and then you will get attacked by a mountain lion or anything else. You have to, lo you have to load the fire. <laughs> I know. It burns, yeah. Why don't you record in horizontal mood instead of vertical mood? This is because oh, I, when I'm trying to get in the vertical mood, I can't read the chat and I don't know why. Kevin, you need a place that is far away from people and make a place there that blends into the land you make it own and be able to get came to eat and place to grow. Yes, exactly, but here in Germany it is impossible. Everything is so expensive. Um, I would love to have my um, a big own forest. You know, I only have the forest cabin and some wood around, but this is not a real wood. It's only spruce trees and I would love to have a beautiful forest, but it's so expensive. I, w I will be never able to buy it. <clears throat> When people hear or read the prices that we actually have here in German for land, they don't think that it's real. Do you have fat wood in your area? Yes, uh, we have pine trees there and spruce trees. And um, I am able to collect fat wood. Petrolis, when you go in underground in a cave. Ah, okay, thank you, Owen. I see you are good. You are not reading my comments. I don't know what you commented before. So I am not at the end of the comments, so I'm switching slowly down. You can make a fire blower from an old selfie stick that collapses. Yeah, exactly. 
this is what it is. Truly love the live sessions. They will, and if ever in Canada you have some awesome spots where nature will blow your mind. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Thank you. I would love to marry a German woman. Feel free to do it. <clears throat> Snuggle Knook. I see you are good. Wow, now we know again. Are you going to bounce again soon or, or maybe just leave it into history? What is this meaning, bounce again? I love your content. Thank you, Eddie. Hi, Space Duck. Greetings to Denmark. Glad you are almost completely recovered from your terrible, terrible illness. Yeah, I'm also glad. Thank you. Thank you, Sky Blue. So it starts to get windy again. That means that I grab my jacket now because I have goosebumps. <laughs> Can you see this? I think goosebumps is the right word, yeah. And it's also pretty late, one hour till midnight. Ugh. Hard alarm again. So this is what I mean. My heart is going crazy. I'm just sitting here doing nothing at the campfire. And my um, my um, heart rate is telling me uh, the heart frequency, heart frequency is 122. Normally for a woman in my age being relaxed like I should be now a heart rate without any work should be at 80 and I am at 122 when I'm doing nothing I hate it Grüße nach Kiel, Stefan Hi Thomas <clears throat> Ah, okay. Thank you, Sögelknack. Good night. I'm about to sleep. Yeah, I'm also soon about to sleep. Um, I will have a great night. Thank you, Kier, for Arl. Thank you for being here with me. Greetings to Ohio. This is a very high heart rate. Why? Uh, I forgot the English word for this illness. Um, uh, maybe I could ask. Okay, Grace I disease. just asked Siri. The illness that I have is... Uh, uh, I just forgot it. It is called um, Morbus Basedorf in German. Um, the illness is um, from the thyroid and this makes my body working all the time and uh, burning a lot of energy and because of this my heart rate is so high. No, it will not help to um, blowing in the straw because it's because of the illness. No, I don't have heart arrhythmia. No, it's not. It's not um, hard for me to doing this live stream class. Tired travel exactly. Good night. I will be out of the chat also because um, it's cold now and I want to move my jacket on and then I spend a little bit at the campfire for my own relaxing. I had to um, finish filming the YouTube video and then I will go 
pretty soon in my backpack, uh, in my sleeping bag when I am warm again. It's always a bad decision to go in the sleeping bag when you're cold, but uh, I will have a good night. Yeah, Brian, I'm taking the medicine. Thank you. God bless you too, Paul. So I am very glad that you all spent the time here with me. It was great to chat with you and also great that it works again and then you come all back after the first live stream was stopping. I wish you all a great day or a great night wherever you are. Just uh, enjoy your time. And at Sunday the YouTube video is coming up. I hope you all join this new bushcraft video because you almost see a little bit of it. And in the YouTube video, you will, you will see everything, my camp and everything else. And yeah, we will see us soon. And I promise you, I will get live. I will go live um, more often than I, than I do it in the past. Okay, boys and girls, wish you a great time. And we see us again soon. Bye, I'm out now.